welcome to the demo for the Mira Security Encrypted Traffic Orchestrator, also known as the ETO. In this short video, I'll be showing you how in many networks there may exist massive security blind spots due to encrypted SSL traffic. For testing and demonstration purposes, I'll utilize the Suricata IDS running on the Selks platform to monitor all traffic. As you can see in this network diagram, I have the ETO in network inline with the Suricata IDS in passive mode. That means that the ETO will be directly between our test client and the internet. It will actively decrypt and re-encrypt SSL connections that pass through it. It will send the decrypted traffic to Suricata for traffic monitoring and threat detection. I will generate test traffic by clicking a link in what could be a phishing email. I'll demonstrate that when traffic is not decrypted, threats in the encrypted traffic are not detected by Suricata, but once decryption is enabled, it quickly detects the threats and alerts you to any issues it might find. For the first test, I already have the policy set to bypass mode. The traffic does pass through it, but it is not decrypted or re-signed. It is functionally just a wire in this instance. The traffic does get sent to Suricata, but it is the encrypted traffic. For the second test, I will set the ETO policy to universal decryption. This will decrypt all traffic in an SSL connection and re-encrypt it before sending it on to the destination. The traffic it sends to Suricata will be decrypted. All right, now let's go over to our test client. And as you can see, Gmail is already open. And we'll take a look at this email that we were sent. This employee isn't very tech savvy, so they might not know what to look for when it comes to phishing emails. It looks like this is from a colleague though, so we'll go ahead and click the link in the email. Now a more observant user will notice that this isn't the URL for the Mirror Security website, and that when the page loaded, a file was downloaded. But it looks like the Mirror Security website, so this fictional employee probably wouldn't notice these things. In this situation, it's up to the IT department to catch the malicious activity. Let's check our appliances and see how our IDS did. When we go over to the logs, we can see in the action column that this traffic is being bypassed. The ETO isn't decrypting anything, and the traffic that Suricata is receiving is still fully encrypted. And when we refresh Suricata, we can see that there are no alerts despite the fact that we downloaded a file called virus.msi. This is because Suricata, as well as most security visibility tools, cannot decrypt SSL traffic on their own, so they're blind to the vast majority of web traffic. We'll go ahead and close out of the browser in our test client so that we can reset for the next test. Now that we've seen that our IDS can't detect threats in encrypted traffic, let's turn on decryption and see what happens. We'll select decrypt demo segment and then activate. The policy applied to this segment is set to universal decrypt. It will decrypt and re-encrypt traffic between the client and server to access the unencrypted plain text, which will be sent to our IDS. Now let's go back over to our test client and we will open up Gmail and log into that email and we'll go back to that uh, site that was in the phishing email. As you can see, we are back at that fake mirror security website and that file did download again. Now let's see how our IDS did this time. When we check our SSL session logs, we can see that the action is resign. Uh, this means that Mira is decrypting that SSL traffic using certificate resigning. And when we go over to Suricata, we can see that it now has alerts. This is because the IDS is receiving plain text, unencrypted traffic, and is able to detect the threat. As you were able to plainly see, the ETO allowed our IDS to properly monitor all traffic that was coming through by decrypting SSL connections. Leaving that traffic encrypted is leaving yourself blind to the threats it may contain. We just saw it work in passive mode with an IDS, however it can work just as well in active mode with an IPS. 
If you have multiple security appliances, you can serve those other devices the decrypted traffic through mirror ports while only having to decrypt it once and only on one device. For any more information, please check out mirasecurity.com where you can find more about the ETO as well as a contact us button at the top of the page.